Now we're going to talk about another very important topic for when it comes to moving back to Bosnia, and that is ordering stuff online. <laughs> Living in America, you're always ordering something on Amazon. You wait for it to get to your house. It's pretty convenient. Constantly ordering little thing here and there. I was pleasantly surprised to see that I was able to order the, exo the exact car diagnostic tool that I wanted, the same one I had in America. I, I'm su I was surprised. I thought it wasn't going to be here. But I ordered it here in Bosnia. And, the sh and it sh literally shipped in a day. The shipping here is actually better. Um, probably because Bosnia is smaller, so everything's very fast. You know, Sarajevo, everything comes to Sarajevo. So Sarajevo is, you know, it's like the hub of Bosnia, so everything's just quick. Um, the application you use here, instead of Amazon, it's called Olix or OLX. You'll, he you'll, you'll hear some people refer to it as PIC because I think it used to be called PIC. So anyways, <clears throat> Olix is basically a mix of Amazon and Craigslist or OfferUp. It's pretty cool because I, I just found this out because I thought it was just for like used cars and stuff. But no, you can order brand new stuff, completely brand new, all kinds of stuff. On it so it's literally like a mix of Amazon where you can get brand new stuff and then Craigslist you can find used stuff you know used lawnmower used cars uh, mostly cars are on there um, so it's a great application um, you do not pay with your card on there you order it you don't have to put your card information in and when, when they show up to your door then you give them the cash you gotta have it right you gotta have the cash ready like I said they came in literally a day so I you don't have to pay any extra special shipping um, it's, it's just fast shipping so Bosnia is really good about, um, has a really good shipping industry because there's, there's all these different companies that have vans and they go and deliver stuff. And they're literally called Brza Poshta, which means fast mail. All those companies, they're called Brza Poshta. Like, um, not the name of the company, but the type of service there. That's the name of the service, Brza Poshta. It's fast, it's fast mail. So it's all fast. You don't have to pay special extra sh shipping. And it doesn't cost. I think the shipping cost me four marks. I'm not even joking. It's four marks. So, <clears throat> so this thing, uh, it's pretty awesome. Um, you plug it into your car. Here, I'll actually open it for you. So, yeah, um, you plug this into your car. There's a, a spot for your car. Just like me uh, professional mechanics, they plug their uh, diagnostic tools in. But this one, you don't need a big old clunky old, uh, you know, OBD2 reader. It's called the OBD2 reader. Um, you don't need those big old ones. Like, and the, those old ones are are so expensive. They're like three hundred dollars, you know, to get one of those. This one, it's like twenty dollars in America. So here, I paid fifty marks for this. Fifty marks for this, and then the shipping was like four dollars. <clears throat> you plug that into your car, and then what you do is, after you plug it into your car, you download an application. And this one's awesome. I wanted this one specifically because you can download all kinds of ap applications, and it works. Like 20 different free applications. A lot of these things, these little Bluetooth readers, you got to get their specific app and you got to pay a subscription on it. So this one I wanted and it's so awesome that I got it here in Bosnia. I'm so happy about that. Um, after you plug it into your car, you turn on the application, you sync them up with Bluetooth, literally Bluetooth, and then it'll tell you all the codes on your car and it'll tell you everything that's wrong with your car. You can clear the codes. So my car does have a check engine light on. It's been on for a little while. It comes and goes. <clears throat> it has a glow plug bulb, so it's probably like a sensor or something. And it comes and goes. But now, you know, I finally got this. So now's the time. We're gonna in another video. I'm gonna plug this into my car, and we're gonna um, figure out what's going on and fix it ourselves to save some money.